This is Songbird Cooking. And today I'm making a corn cake. Instead of pancake, as you can see, it's already been in there for a minute because it's already done underneath. You know, you can tell. And on the top, you know, you see the bubbles came through. It's almost like dry on the top to the touch because it's done um, just about. It's done on the inside. And now I need to find my spatula. So what I did was just beat up some, uh, about a half a cup of uh, cornmeal, self-rising cornmeal with one egg and um, maybe it was a cup of cornmeal, one egg and um, a couple of tablespoons of oil that I melted in the pan first. I melted in the pan and then took out... Uh, Pour the uh, melted oil into the mix. All right, and there it is. So I'm gonna cover it with the top right now because it looks done, but on the inside it'll be uh, squishy and gooey and nobody wants to eat that. So I'm gonna cover it with the top and give it about, mm, I'd say five to seven minutes with medium heat so what happens is if you put the tablespoons of oil of butter in the mix then you don't have to oil the pan and also for moisture um, some people just make pancakes or whatever they make they make it and they don't um, they don't even taste it it doesn't matter if the pancakes are good or not because they just you know drain it um, drown it in syrup you know but I mean like if you can't eat a corn cake or a pancake um, if you taste a corn cake and or a pancake and it doesn't have a delicious flavor without the syrup it's really a waste of your time it really is I mean when you make your corn cake or your pancake you want to taste the ingredients you want to taste milk <laughs> if you can't do milk you want to taste the flavor of the butter or the um, just whatever you want to taste it you want it to taste so delicious like how they melt together you know you know um, pancakes they're not made to really just taste all plain like just some old dough you know if it's doughy on the inside I mean that's disgusting it's like someone who doesn't use eggs um, for me it's disgusting I like air inside of my um, in, inside of my baked goods and inside of whatever is on top of the pan if it's got bread and bread ingredients in it and I like moisture um, air bubbles you know if it's cake it doesn't matter cake cookies <laughs> you know it, it needs to have some moisture and some air inside fluffy I like fluffy knot let's see what it's doing uh, I like fluffy. I don't like it when it's just dough, you know? It's just like eating paste, you know? Flour and water. <laughs> Flour and water. And that's not what I want. Or you know, cornmeal and water, which would be something that you do um, when you want to make stuffing or dressing. Um, sometimes you can just put some cornmeal and water together and throw it in the oven um, as a basic um, step for Corn, cornbread stuffing and even me um, I've seen people do that but I still put my milk and my eggs in <laughs> and even that um, it's just the way I like it okay it looks like it's it didn't break it just that happened when I was flipping it um, it's not a big deal and it looks like I believe you see you see just like any oven See how it bounces back? If it mashes down and it stays dented in, then just prepare yourself for when you put your mouth on it. it it's going to be all gooey in your mouth. Mm -mm. And that is just disgusting. And to me, it is. I mean, I don't know about anyone else unless you like how goo feels in your mouth. Or, I mean, I remember when I was uh, four years old down in... Uh, Alabama, 
when we left uh, Massachusetts. And uh, my mom took me to a church where it wasn't service time. It was, um, we were cleaning the church. Well, I wasn't doing it, anything. Um, but playing in the room where they had for children. Um, um, and my mom was helping to clean the church, just her and like a couple of other people, not a lot of people, um, actually. Um, <laughs> so while I was supposed to be doing artwork to keep me busy, it did keep me busy. And then I discovered that the glue smelled pretty good. I mean, like they were taking way too long to feed me my lunch or get my lunch or whatever it was. Or, you know, I just didn't want to eat my cornflakes that morning. Or I didn't like breakfast. And <laughs> I was hungry that day. I was got to be a little bit hungry. They were taking way too long cleaning. And then outside, um, my stepfather had to build, put some bricks, um, make some cement and put a little brick wall over there in the back i guess i forgot what it was for what they wanted it for him he had to make build a little brick wall i was watching that for a while i was really bored and i was starving went back in the um, art room and um <laughs> started eating the glue it smelled good and it tasted good too it sure did but i wouldn't advise now i'm a big girl now you see how i just took that out it's heavy you heard it slam it's very heavy it's heavy because it's made out of cornmeal, you know, it's made out of cornmeal, that's why it was heavy, but look at that, mm -mm -mm. see it's completely done, you can see the holes, those are the air holes, if you don't have any air holes, you're just going to be eating glue, like I said, on the, ins on the outside it'll look nice, but on the inside it'll be glue, if you don't see any air holes, that's what you're eating, glue, mm -mm -mm. Peace, love, and light. This is the song we're cooking. Now, like I said, as you can see, there are holes, air holes, in this cornbread. You see? If you don't have air holes, you got a mushy, nasty little mess in there. Okay? You see that? A lot of air holes all the way through and through every part of it. Nice and see? Air holes. Now, you can eat it with syrup or right here. I made some beans the other day with dry beans. This is the leftover. This is see the turkey, it just broke right off the bone and everything. I mean it broke all the way down to nothing. Look at that. See? Uh-huh. See that means that um the um vitamins from the bone marrow, see that? It's open. So that bone marrow is good for you. This is turkey. That bone marrow is real, really, really good for you. They pay a lot of money just to go in the restaurant and eat bone marrow. I mean, lots of money. It costs more than your little, than your five-dollar cheeseburger. That's for sure, cause it's healthy. See that? It's really healthy stuff. That 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 turkey. That's that turkey right there. See that all the way off the bone. All the way off the bone. Look at that open again for the bone meal. So I need that. So and then what I'm gonna do with this bean juice? And this turkey juice is I'm gonna eat it a little bit with that corn with that corn cake. And just a little bit at a time. It is so delicious. There's not that many beans left in here. The only thing left in here is, is a lot of nutrition from that turkey. And uh, I don't know what people realize, but I am also the good witch, the clairvoyant. And no, I don't practice it. I'm born with it for those who are not understanding. You know, keep calling me saying, you're not supposed to practice. Well, I don't practice. It's inside of me. <laughs> and anyway, I'm not going to ignore what's inside of me. So anyhow, when I eat turkey, I have most vivid dreams, premonition dreams, extra premonition dreams. You know, um, only when I eat turkey. I always have premonition dreams. Not every night, but I have premonition dreams, natural. But if I eat that turkey meat, 
Mm. You're talking about flying, astral projection mm, at its best. And lots and lots of extra premonitions. Vivid, more vivid, more details. Why? I don't know about that turkey. Also, that turkey is the turkey that did something to my DNA that caused me, um, other than the autoimmune thing I have, but the turkey before my, the turkey, I had some turkey and, um, that I had my, it was just a carcass, you know, like just a little, just a little bit like this, um, big old pot roaster pan and I made my kids put some, I didn't make them, I asked them to put some veggies in there, some mixed vegetables, big old roaster pan. Because uh, I couldn't get up off the couch. My father came to see me when I was on the couch. Um, and I couldn't move <laughs> for three weeks. Mostly it was because of the trees that bloomed pink flowers. And they had me down, fever and all. Um, either way. Um, before that, once in a while, I guess I would catch a cold or something or flu. Once in a while, stomach flu. Um, not every winter like most people. But after I drank that turkey juice that my kids boiled for 12 hours or more. You know, they ate before that, but they ate the stuff that was in the pot. You know, the meat, the veggies. I told them, leave the juice. They ate some of the, they drank some of the juice. There's a pot full of juice like this here. More juice than everything. And when I drank that juice, they gave me a, a cup of juice from that turkey and that marrow and everything had broken down and when I drank that I have never ever caught another cold I have never ever ever caught the flu again I have never ever had a stomach flu since then and as a matter of fact only once have I had that nasal infection again since then once which you know can be cured with aphrin really quick <laughs> right there I have a half a sweet potato from the other day um, it's still good see it's not it's not real soft it's soft enough the sea is not like so soft it's just soft enough like I guess some would say it's half done so anyhow I'll be warming that up and eating that later mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. you know cuz that's right there it's good for your kidneys and your liver that right there is the best medicine you could ever have for your kidneys and your liver. That sweet potato right there. Mm-mm-mm. Half baked or baked until the skin is so wrinkled. You don't need no sugar and you don't need no butter. And you'd be so healthy. And you're talking about, you know, everybody's buying all these skin creams, you know, to make themselves look younger. <laughs> when all they have to do is eat some, some baked sweet potatoes and some, some kale and some Swiss chard. <laughs> And some, don't forget your beans. All that stuff that's on that chart that they taught us about in school. <laughs> Those are all the best. That stuff is real. That is a real thing right there. You know. Now this is perfect. I smell it. It's good. Oh, God. It's so delicious. And I'm just going to do this country style. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this country style right here. Mm-hmm. 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 That's all I need to see that. Mm-hmm. It's a country style. Mm-hmm. There it is. You see? And there it is. Mm-hmm. Country style. Mm-hmm. It's more juice than everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yummy. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Again, this is the song for Reborn and Rebuilt. Mm -hmm. And this right here, you see that? I'm just going to leave it on low because, see, there's still some, 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 some stuff coming out of that bone marrow. I want all that bone marrow in my juice because I'm eating all of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yup. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's loving light. Like.